Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovering science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids! Today I'm going to tell you about volcanoes. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's quest. When a volcano erupts, magma is pushed up through the opening, the opening with great force. When magma reaches the Earth's surface, it is called lava. Lava can be as hot as 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Chunks of volcanic fragments, ash and gas, may also erupt from a volcano. There are generally around 20 volcanoes erupting in the world at any given time. The word volcano comes from the Roman name Vulcan. But who was Vulcan, you might ask? He was the Roman god of fire. Powerful forces inside the earth cause volcanoes. They begin when hot melted rock, called magma, rises from deep within the earth. The magma is mixed with gas. The gas makes the magma lighter than the rock around it, so the magma rises through cracks in the rock. When the magma gets near the surface, the magma and gas blast out a hole called a vent, gradually piling up around it. They form the volcanic mountain or volcano. Earth's crust is made up of huge rocky pieces called plates. The plates move slowly over the crust. Most volcanoes lie along boundaries between these plates. Some of the most violent eruptions take place where the edge of one plate is forced beneath the edge of another. This forces magma to rise to the surface. Hot gases in the magma make these volcanoes very explosive. Some volcanoes of this type are found around the edges of the Pacific Ocean. This huge circle of volcanoes is known as the Ring of Fire. Volcanoes also form in places where two plates slowly pull apart. Molten rock rises between the plates as they move apart. It causes fissure eruptions in which lava flows out over the ground. This type of volcano is common along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge a mountain chain under the Atlantic Ocean. Volcanoes in the northern part of this ridge formed the island country of Iceland. Over 20% of the Earth's active volcanoes are underwater. A small number of volcanoes are not located along the edges of plates. They form at hot spots in Earth's crust. At a hot spot, molten rock rises from deep below the crust. The volcanoes of Hawaii are the best examples of hotspot volcanoes. The Hawaiian Islands were created by the eruptions of shield volcanoes. The world's largest active volcano is Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Volcanoes can be a variety of shapes and sizes, but there are three main types. Composite volcanoes, which are cone-shaped with steep slopes. Shield volcanoes, which are wide with gentle slope. And cinder cones, which are mountains shaped like cones. Mount St. Helens is a composite volcano, a steep side of volcano located in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States in the state of Washington. It exploded on May 18, 1980, blowing most of its peak right off. Trees over an area of some 200 square miles were blown down by the blast. Hot springs, geysers, and former rolls are other types of volcanic activity. They have been in places where magma heats underground water. A hot spring is a place where warm water comes up through the ground. A geyser is a kind of hot spring that shoots water and steam into the air. Former rolls are vents that release gas and steam. Yellowstone National Park contains the world's greatest concentration of these geothermal features because it sits on an ancient caldera where magma bubbles and boils a few miles below ground. That's what makes Yellowstone National Park one of the biggest supervolcanoes on Earth. It is also the home of Old Faithful, a hot water geyser. Volcanoes are classified as active, dormant, or extinct. This refers to the amount of volcanic activity. Active means there's regular activity. 
dormant means there's been recent activity, but the volcano is currently quiet, and extinct means it's been so long since the last eruption that it's unlikely to ever erupt again. About 1,900 volcanoes on Earth are considered active, likely to explode again. Indonesia has the most active volcanoes in the world and remains one of the most dangerous areas. Volcanoes exist throughout the solar system. Other planets and moons have volcanoes too. The largest volcano in our solar system is Olympus Mons found on Mars. Olympus Mons is a shield volcano which is 374 miles in diameter, approximately the same size as the state of Arizona, and it's 16 miles high. The place with the most volcanic activity is not on Earth. It's on Io, one of Jupiter's moons. Volcanoes can be destructive. They can trigger tsunamis, floods, earthquakes, mud flows, and waterfalls. Buildings can be destroyed. Flight paths disrupted, ash can ruin crops, dark skies with heavy winds and rain can occur months after an eruption. Power classic flows are a common and devastating part of some volcanic eruptions. They are fast moving, fluidized bodies of hot gas, ash, and rock. They can move away from a volcano about 62 miles per hour on average, but it's capable of reaching speeds up to 430 miles per hour. The gases can reach temperatures of about 1,830 degrees Fahrenheit. However, volcanoes can create new land. Volcanoes can produce rich, fertile land. Over time, lava and ash break down to produce nutrient-rich soil, great for growing crops. People also use volcanic rock to build roads, and farmers spread volcanic ash on soil for good plant growth. People in Iceland heat their homes with steaming hot water from volcanic activity. It's not just humans that make use of volcanoes, birds do too. Many birds bury their eggs in the sand or soil near volcanoes to keep them warm. Volcanoes also produce a unique volcanic rock on human mice, which can float in water. Volcanology it's the branch of geology that focuses on volcanoes. Many volcanologists work in observatories from which they keep track of Earth's tremors and other signs of volcanic activity. Others venture forth to the slopes and craters for an even closer look. On the basis of what they measure and see, they try to predict when an eruption might take place, how severe it will be, and which places will be in the danger zone. Their job is important because it is difficult or impossible to get out of the path of a big eruption once it begins. Thank you for watching this adventurous kids episode. What did you learn today? Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids.